Hello class. Uh, uh, it's been so great this start of the semester. You guys have been awesome to be with, being on the discussion boards, uh, getting to know you, getting to, to work with you, looking at your assignments. I wanted to hop on. I just wanted to make one, one quick announcement uh, and be able to explain it uh, in person, a little bit in person. <laughs> um, on, on many of the assignments that you will do for this semester, you're going to be asked identify principles that you're going to either teach in a family home evening lesson, which you've done. I've given feedback on those assignments, on many of them. I'll finish, I'll, I'll have all of them finished up by uh, by Saturday. We have about, I have about a hundred students total in my two sections. So I work on it throughout every day. I, I dedicate time trying to get through all of them. I know you put a lot of time into them, so I like to, to, to give them the time that they deserve. Now, with that being said, with those family home evening projects, with shared assignments, can say, hey, identify a principle. Uh, one thing that I would just make mention of is sometimes uh, when we talk about principles, we want to make sure that we understand that uh, what Pathways is looking for is can I write down a principle statement um, in a sentence form? A principle is a su succinct statement of truth, and usually in a sentence or less. And it often suggests both action, action and consequences for those actions. So... Um, so sometimes, let me give you an example. Sometimes people say, okay, identify a principle, and someone might say faith. That's right. Faith, faith is a principle, right? The first principles and ordinances of the gospel are first faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. But for a principle statement, and what we're after is, can I now take faith and go, okay, what is it in the second half of the Book of Mormon, what's a principle regarding faith that I learned? So it might be something like, as I exercise faith in the Savior Jesus Christ, he can strengthen me to face any temptation that I come across. Something, something like that. Now I've got a full statement that suggests both action and consequence of those, that action. Great thing about identifying truths in that way is that once I've, I've identified it um, and, and, I, and it's clear, now the learner and myself as the teacher, it, there's no question as to, okay, why am I why am I following this principle? Why am I adapting this to my circumstances? Because I know that it's going to lead to these things. It's an eternal truth. So that's just a suggestion I give. I didn't take any points off for anyone that didn't do that. I know we're early on this semester. Or that's not the, the deal. This is just so we can continue to improve. As you think about principles, as you as you study scripture, look for those. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.